What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video, we're answering the question of how to change directories in a terminal in Linux. And essentially, this should work with any um, Linux or Bash type shell, whether it's on like I'm on a Mac or if you get like get Bash for Windows, this should work for all of those type of terminals. Uh, as a caveat, this won't work for like the, the command prompt in Windows or PowerShell just because they have different commands for that. So let's start talking about the command that is used to change directories. So the terminal command that is used to tr change directories is called CD. You know, C for the change and D for the directory, right? So oftentimes you can do CD and then space, and then you give it the path. So for instance, I'm in my um, the, my user home uh, directory on my computer right now. And if I do CD, I can do something like documents or and you can do like, a, I just hit tab complete right there. So I hit tabs twice and it showed that for me. Um, so I can hit CD documents and spell. And then if I hit that and hit enter, now it has changed me to the documents folder. So that's the basic command. So now let's start, start talking about other things that you can do um, with this CD command, whether it's um, going back up a directory, um, going to a specific directory, jumping back and forth between directories and whatnot. So let's hop right in and talk about those. So right now you just saw the basic usage of um, the CD where you can do CD space and then you can give it a path, right? So in this current one, I just gave it the path or the name of a uh, directory that was directly within the current location on the, um, the, the computer that I'm at. So I was in my home directory and within the home directory, usually there's things such as documents, downloads, and um, desktop, are very common um, uh, folder names inside of the home directory. So you can always, from there, you can always do CD space documents, CD space downloads, and it'll take you that. Now what happens if I wanna go back to, or back out of the current one I'm in and go back up one directory? Well, the command for that is essentially gonna be CD space space. If I hit enter, you see that before my, my directory uh, that is shown is the tilde directory, which is often referred to as the home directory. I went to the documents directory within that tilde directory and then I did cd dot dot which brought me back out um, into my tilde directory so that's how you go from one folder and back out up or back out or I like to say up a directory um, so now let's talk about how you can essentially, um, or what are the different uh, path files that you can give to the CD command to take you um, to all kinds of different directories. All right, so we've talked about how you can go to a specific directory um, within the current folder that you're in. So you can, how you can go to another folder with under the current folder, which you just give it the name of that folder. Another caveat that I do wanna point out is you could do CD space dot slash. Now that says, that also means look within the current, this dot slash means look within the current directory and then look for a file or a folder name. And so I can say, now I can say, so if I do that tab complete, hit tab twice when I start typing, you can, it shows you, here's the different folders that I have. I have desktop or developer. So now if we go to desktop and I hit tab to continue that and I run and I hit enter, that'll take me to the desktop. Well, what happens though, if I want to go to a very specific um, directory? So for instance, I'm in my desktop, but what happens if I want to go back to my documents one? Well, you can essentially say CD and I can give it the specific direct path to whatever folder I want, such as by or by doing so something like users, um, tab, tab complete, and then my username, or it's Zach. And then we can also do, I know, so this is basically the path to the home directory or this tilde. So I know that in here, there is a documents folder and I can do that and that will take me back to my documents folder. So right there, we have um, a way that you can just give the direct path. Now, here is a trick I wanna give you. Um, and this is what I like to do is the ability to switch back and forth uh, between directories, um, between your previous directory and, and or your previous path and then your current path um, that I don't think a lot of people talk about. So let's start talking about that right now. So that little trick that I keep mentioning, or I've mentioned from the beginning on, is the ability to switch back and forth. Um, and it's basically, you just do CD space, um, the dash sign, and if I hit enter, watch what currently happens. So I was previously in desktop, which is this complete path, then I went to documents. Now these are sibling folders in my home directory, which means if I wanted to essentially go from documents back to desktop, I should technically, I should technically do something like dot dot slash, uh, and then I'm going to desktop, so I can do that, or I should do something such as slash users, Zach, desktop, right? And I can do all that, but here's the trick. Since this is my previous directory, I can essentially do this uh, dash sign 
and that will take me back to the desktop directory or tilde slash desktop. Um, so right there, that is a sweet little trick that I, and I use this often, right? Like in my day-to-day -day programming uh, for my for my job and all my, um, when I'm doing stuff here, like home projects and whatnot, this is what I use when I'm like, okay, like I have boulders in this one file, I need to go back. And the nice thing is, so I'm in my desktop, I can hit CD dash, it goes right back to documents. So now I can, on a command line, I can easily just, you know, CD dash this, but, but just so you know, if I do CD, and this is, again, if I do the CD by itself, this will take us all the way back to our home directory. So that's a good thing to mention there. But now if I do, I'm in my home directory, I can do CD dash, goes that, but, but here's the caveat. If I do CD and I take myself and I hit enter, I hit uh, CD twice, or I give it the same uh, directory that I, the last directory that I was in twice, if I do CD minus, it's only gonna take me to what, what, what you, was your previous directory that you called within the terminal. So in this case, I called CD, it took me back to the home directory. I called CD again by itself, it took me back to the home directory, uh, even though I was already there. And then so by doing CD minus, it just again, takes me back to that home directory. So to refigure out what my old path was, would be, I'd have to do something like what we've done previously. I can do say dot slash and then take me to desktop and now I'm back in my desktop. So these are just some helpful commands that I feel um, every programmer um, should learn even if they're trying to learn a specific language or whatnot because if you can get com comfortable with the terminal um, it makes programming a lot easier and as you'll see when I bring out other videos within such things like Python you can do these exact same type of commands or use these exact same type of commands in your Python scripts or in your code in whatever code you're writing to help um, do similar things that uh, you may need or may you or you may want your script to perform for you and knowing how to change directories and get to the, the spots where it needs to do its thing is very helpful. So I hope this provided value for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.